What's going on everybody? Today we're going to change the oil and filter on a 2010 Dodge Charger 3.5 liter engine and already took the liberty, have it up on ramps, ready to go. So let's get the oil changed. <laughs> All right, for tools, you're gonna to need a 3 8 ratchet, a, I think it's three or four, six inch extension, 10 millimeter socket for taking off the uh, skid plate underneath, 13 mil socket or wrench for the drain plug. You need a claw, or you'll need a uh, filter cup, which mine is soaked in oil from doing the oil change, so um, you'll see that in the video. And then for the skid plate, I, use, I just use my impact driver with an adapter for the 10 millimeter to get that off. And obviously you'll need oil. This engine takes six quarts plus an oil filter. First thing you want to do is remove the oil fill cap. And you remove that so when you pull your drain plug, air can get in so it helps drain it quicker. All right, you're going to want to remove this shield. It even says remove for engine service. You have a bolt here, a bolt here. Then you have two back here, they're all 10 millimeters. And then once you remove this last one, and then slide it back and out of the way. And now you can see the oil filter is there. Engine drain plug is right there. All right, you got your drain pan. It's a 13 millimeter. Remember this last little change, not me. Went a little crazy. All right, once it's broke free. Put it out. Let the engine drain itself of oil. All right, before you put the drain plug back in, you want to inspect the seal, which this seal is still in good shape, so we'll reuse it. If it looks cracked or worn out or anything, just go and replace the seal, or you might have to replace the little drain plug depending on how if you can get a seal separate. Let's spin that back in. And you don't have to he-man it on. It's right there is bottomed out. A little extra, that's all you need. Now I do the filter. I have one of these claws that just tightens down as you go to loosen the filter. Get the right angle. Maybe. All right, well the claw didn't work. So we'll actually use a filter cup. And with these are cheap. So you don't want to go past the uh, detent that holds sockets. There it's just loose enough. Put the pan underneath. And get it all over your hands because just like that. Get it all the way off the threads. Let that drain out. All right, once that's done dripping, take your filter, I've already lubricated the O-ring, and put oil in it to prevent a dry start. So it slowly, that way you don't slosh oil all over the place coming out of the filter until you feel it hit the so you hit the motor like that. You can go three quarters of a turn, 
If you wonder on the three quarters of a turn, I'm going to put a link up at the top for my video explaining how to oil, how to install an oil filter. All right, this motor calls for six quarts of oil. So once your oil is installed, go and fire it up and back it off your ramps. You have to check your oil level with it on a level ground. But let it run for at least 30 seconds, shut it off, pull your dipstick, wipe it off once, back in, pull it out, and then your max is here, actually your min is right here, so we fall within the full range, so we do not need to add any oil, and your oil change is done.